Hello everyone, now let us discuss about CPT coding guidelines for E&M. In the current session, we will be focusing on office and other outpatient services. So first of all, coming to office and other outpatient services, what are they? The following services are used to report evaluation and management services provided in the office or in an outpatient or other ambulatory facility. Office and other outpatient services are used to report evaluation and management services provided in the office or in an outpatient or other ambulatory facility. A patient is considered an outpatient until inpatient admission to a healthcare facility occurs. Unless and until the patient is admitted to any healthcare facility, he is considered as an outpatient. Now coming to various CPTs of office and other outpatient services. They are broadly categorized into two types, new patient and established patient. The CPT range for new patient are within the range of 99202 to 99205. Whereas the established patient codes, established patient of office or other outpatient services are given by the codes 99211 to 99215. Now let us discuss the definition for new patient. Who is considered as new patient? A new patient is a patient who has not received any professional service. A new patient is a patient who has not received any professional service. They are nothing but face to face services within the past three years from the physician or qualified healthcare professional providing the current EM service or from another physician or qualified healthcare profession, professional of the same speciality and subspeciality who is a part of same group practice. Any patient who has not received any professional services within the past three years is considered a new patient either from the same physician or qualified healthcare professional or another physician or qualified healthcare professional of the same specialty and subspeciality is considered a new patient. The Medicare refers only to same physician specialty, not subspeciality. In its definition of new patient of end. Let us see some of the clinical cases. Here, a 65-year-old male sees a cardiologist for an EM service. 65 year old male sees a cardiologist for an EM service. Another cardiologist in the practice provided an interpretation of an EKG. That cardiologist provided an interpretation of an EKG for the same patient the previous year when he was in emergency department. But there was no face to face service. So here the patient has been treated by a cardiologist in the same practice previous year for the interpretation of EKG. He has not done any face to face service. In this case, the cardiologist providing the EM service can still consider the patient to be a new for EM coding purpose because no cardiologist in the practice provided the patient with a face to face service within the past three years. Because no face-to-face -face services has, has been done within the past three years, this patient is considered a new patient. Another example is, the following is an example of new patient E&M visit demonstrating same subspeciality. Here we have discussed about same speciality. Now we will discuss about same subspeciality. A patient has been seeing an intern internist in a multi-speciality group for the past three years for primary care, particularly hypertension. Patient has been seeing an intern or internist in a multi-speciality group for the past three years for the care of hypertension. The internist identified some suspicious lesion and sent the patient to general surgeon in the same practice to evaluate lesion removal. Here, the patient is a new patient to general surgeon because surgeon has a different speciality than the internist. 
Though the patient has been seeing an internist for the past three years, he has identified some suspicious lesions and sent the patient to general surgeon. Here, from general surgeon point of view, that particular patient is considered as a new patient. Now, coming to the definition of established patient. An established patient is a patient who has received professional service. That is nothing but face-to-face -face service within the past three years from the physician or qualified healthcare professional providing E&M or another physician or qualified healthcare professional of the same specialty and subspecialty who is the part of a same group practice. Let us see an example. A pediatric patient comes to an office visit complaining of stomach pains. Although this is the pediatric gastroenterologist first time meeting the patient, another doctor of same subspecialty, that is another pediatric gastroenterologist has seen the patient two years ago for similar complaint. In this case, you should consider the patient to be established. Because professional service has been done by the gastroenterologist within the three years. Now let us discuss the CPTs. For new patient, the first CPT is 99202. Previously, there was 99201 that has been deleted. 99201 CPT has been deleted. So for new patient, Outpatient services, the first CPT is 99202. Here the star indicates that this CPT can be used for telemedicine. Coming to the description of 99202. Office or other outpatient visit for the evaluation and management of new patient which requires appropriate medical history and examination. The new guideline is appropriate history and examination is sufficient. And MDM is considered for code selection. So 99202 requires appropriate medical history and examination and straightforward medical decision making. Whenever time is used for code selection, 15 to 29 minutes of total time is spent on date of the encounter. MDM should be straightforward and the time should be 15 to 29 minutes. Then you can use the code 99202. The next is 99203. This is office or other outpatient visit for evaluation and management of new patient which requires appropriate medical history and examination and low level of medical decision making. Low level of MDM is required for 99203 and the time required is 30 to 44 minutes whenever time is used for code selection. The next is 99204. Here this requires appropriate medical history and examination and moderate level of MDM. 99204 requires moderate MDM and 45 to 59 minutes of total time spent whenever time is used for code selection. And the final CPT is 99205. It requires high level of MDM and the time is 60 to 74 minutes of total time should be spent on the day of encounter. Every, in every case, appropriate medical history and examination are done. Code selection is based on time and MDM. Whenever time is considered for code selection, appropriate time must be met. And in general, MDM is considered for code selection. So for 99205, high level of MDM is required. Let us see an example. A new patient visit, visits the internal medicine clinic today for diabetes, chronic constipation, arthritis and history of cardiac disease. Patient performs a detailed history, comprehensive exam and medical decision making of moderate complexity. MDM of moderate complexity. What CPT should be used? So MDM is of moderate complexity. The appropriate CPT is 99204 which requires appropriate medical history and examination and moderate level of MDM. Now coming to the codes, outpatient codes for established patient. The first one is 99211, office or 
here the triangle indicates that it is a revised code 99211 is office or other outpatient visits for evaluation management of established patient that may not require the presence of physician or other qualified healthcare professional 99211 does not require the presence of physician or other qualified healthcare professional the next code is 99212 office or other outpatient visit for evaluation and management of established patient which requires a medically appropriate history and examination and straightforward mdm and when time is used for selection 10 to 19 minutes of time is required for 99212 straightforward mdm and 10 to 19 minutes of time whichever applicable the next is 99213. This requires low level of MDM and 20 to 29 minutes of time, whichever appropriate. 99213 requires low MDM and when time is considered for code selection, 20 to 29 minutes of time must be spent. The next is 99214. This requires moderate MDM and 30 to 39 minutes of time whenever time is used for code selection. The next is 99215. This requires high level of MDM and 40 to 54 minutes of time. Now let us discuss an example. Mr. Flintstone is seen by his oncologist just two days after undergoing extensive testing for sudden onset of petache, night sweats, swollen glands and weakness. After a brief review of history, Dr. B. B. Maron re-examines Mr. Flintstone. The exam is documented as expanded problem focused and medical decision making is of moderate complexity. This is important. The medical decision making is of moderate complexity. Here the patient has been seen by the physician just two days prior. So here patient is established patient. And MDM is of moderate complexity. Additionally, the oncologist spends an additional 15 minutes discussing Mr. Flintstone, a new diagnosis of Hodgkin's disease, lymphoma, treatment options and prognosis. What are the appropriate procedure codes for this visit? Here the MDM patient is established and MDM is of moderate complexity. So the appropriate code is 99214 office or other outpatient visit for evaluation and management of established patient which requires a medically appropriate history and examination and moderate medical decision making thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and cpc training